Hi, this is Yang. Welcome. Today I'm going to make um, a glass noodle with ground meat. And there is a name in Chinese, um, ant, ants climbing up the tree. The tree would be the glass noodles and the ground meat would be the ants. So the ingredients I need, vegetable oil, sugar, this is the um, glass noodles, mung bean glass noodles. You can get them from any Asian stores or actually nowadays Costco carries them. So um, I'm going to use a three bunch today. When you open it, they come in separate bunches like this. And these are the three bunches I soaked them in uh, cold water, lukewarm water, either way, for about half an hour. And then I'm going to need my soy sauce. And this is the dark soy sauce. That's going to add some color. Ooh, this is the main thing. It's the Sichuan fava bean paste. It's spicy and salty. And I've got my diced green onions diced green pepper bell pepper and I need um, chicken broth a can and this is my ground meat I have another video to how to make them so here I've soaked the three bunches in uh, water for half an hour now I'm going to get the water out and cut them shorter So it is, these noodles are really long, so when you eat them, it's going to be kind of challenging. So what I do, you just take them up, I cut it in half, that's a half the length. And this is the second bunch, I scoop it up, find the middle, and cut it in half. And that last bunch. There we go. So that's my glass noodles soaked and ready. Now I'm going to start cooking in the pan. Turn on the fire on high. Three bunches. I will likely need about three tablespoons of oil, maybe a little bit more. That's probably like a quarter of a cup. Or maybe one third, and a big tablespoonful of the fava bean paste. This is getting really low. I've uh, been using them for a while. This you can get from um, the Chinese market. Make sure you get the right kind. There are many different kinds. I'm putting two tablespoons here. Um, this is the, make sure you get the right kind. It's from Chengdu, that's my hometown. And it's Pi Xian Dou Ban. So in oil, I put the fava bean paste in there. <coughs> Let it cook till the fragrance come up. About a minute or two. <coughs> if you don't have the ground meat ready, you can put the ground meat at this point and cook it uh, for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so. But um, because I already have cooked ground meat, I am just going to, oh no, I'm sorry, pour my chicken broth in to make the, um, make the sauce. I have a little bit saved. Just try to see if it's going to be enough. 
Now I'm going to add a little bit of soy sauce. The fava bean um, paste is pretty salty, so you got to be careful with this um, soy sauce. And add a bit of more. This is maybe a tablespoonful. This is a dark soy sauce that, that's not very salty, but very um, colorful. And sugar. Two tablespoonful. Stir it a bit. I might want to taste it. Yeah, pretty good. And um, what I'm gonna do is put in my noodles. The fire is on high. So the noodles are going to soak up the um, sauce. And I'm going to put in my meat. However much you like, really. That's three bunches with maybe a cup of uh, ground meat. And I'm going to put in my green pepper and green onion. And now I stir it. So the noodles are soaking up the sauce. This just needs to be cooked for like few minutes and then we'll be ready. The noodle is easy to be cooked and uh, if you cook it too long it becomes really soggy and soft. Let me get a pair of chopsticks. Continue to stir it as the noodles soak up the sauce. I think it's been like three minutes or so. About five minutes is what I cook in for. Couple more minutes and then we're ready. If you like to have more meat, just add more meat. Meat can be added at any time. All right. Um. So. Overall, it's about five minutes, and as you can see, the sauce is pretty much soaked in the noodles, and the noodle is is kind of transparent, but um, there's color, but it's kind of transparent. I'm going to turn off the fire, and we I'm just going to put them in a, in a bowl, and then we're going to eat. Challenging. Make it. So this three bunches, as you can see, actually grow. So if it's for one person, usually a third of the ingredients, one bunch, would be enough. Enjoy.